good morning students i hope you all are fine today and uh, doing your work whatever we are giving you as um, um, as early as we are going to decide a time for your, your periodic test so be prepared for whatever you have learnt uh, that I mean that that's last three chapters. So one by one we are taking the uh, periodic test for this online only. So be prepared for that students. So uh, uh, by the previous topic what we have done rational number. So we have started rational number in the last video. So in the continuation of that only we will be continuing the today's class students. In the last class, uh, I have discussed about what is rational number, how it is related with your, uh, um, what you can say, rational number is, topic is rational number on number line. How we will show rational number on number line. Before that I want to just go through that uh, what I have done in the previous video. This is your natural number. All natural numbers comes into whole number all whole number comes into integer and all integers comes into your rational number so the rational number is the superset then comes your integers and then integers all whole number comes and in the all whole numbers all natural number comes so all natural numbers are whole numbers all whole numbers are integer and all integers are rational numbers. Similarly, all natural numbers are rational numbers also. All whole numbers are rational numbers also. All integers are rational numbers also. So, all the properties which natural numbers follow automatically goes to rational number. All the properties which whole number follows, that means that it is in the rational number also. All the properties which integers having, that rational number follows. So, what you can say, what are the properties? 0 is a whole number, so 0 is a rational number also. All the counting numbers are the uh, natural numbers, so all counting numbers are rational numbers. All negative numbers are your rational number. My, minus, one, uh, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, so on. These all are your uh, rational numbers. And apart from that, we have learned about the fraction also. Most of the students have the doubt about fractions and rational number. That I have also cleared. The difference between fraction and whole number is. Both are written in the format of P by Q. For fraction, P and Q are whole numbers. And for rational number, P and Q are ra rational numbers. Sorry, integers. P by Q, where P and Q are whole number, then this becomes a definition of a fraction. And when we say P and Q, where P and Q are integers, then it becomes rational number. This is the only difference between rational and a fraction. Now you can say ki, um, 1 by 2 is a fraction. Right? 1 by 2 is a fraction. Hmm? 1 by 2 is a rational number also. But minus 1 by 2 is a rational number. Minus 1 by 2 is not a fraction. This is not over here. This is the difference which I want to make you in your mind. Concept apne andar dal lijiye. 
natural number all the counting numbers whole number we had added zero in it integers sare natural numbers zero aur unke negatives complete ho gaya uske baad aaya rational number p by q ke form mein hoga p aur q rash integers honge q zero ke barabar nahi ho This is the simple thing जो आपको अपने दिमाग में रखना है एंड दिस दिस द सर्कल द फर्स्ट रिंग सजेस्ट फॉर द नेचुरल नंबर द सेकेंड सजेस्ट फॉर द होल नंबर द नेक्स्ट फॉर योर इंटीजर एंड द नेक्स्ट फॉर योर रैशनल नंबर राइट ना टूडेज टॉपिक दिस इज द जस्ट रिविशन पार्ट ऑफ द प्रीवियस वीडियो Now the today's topic is represent rational number on the number line. Before that, I want to go through that rep uh, representation of a integers on the number line. This is my real line. The middle part I will make zero, and in the right hand side, this is my right hand side. I make all the positive signs. This is for the positive, and in the left. we will be making all the negative thing numbers so all uh, positive integers are in the right hand side of zero 1 2 3 4 5 6 and so ma so many numbers as many as space in your copy minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 Minus four, minus five, and so on. Right. This is about integers. Where is five? Here is five. Where is minus two? Here is minus two. And where is zero? Here is zero. We are representing this sort of in class six. Now we have to represent rational numbers on the number line. So number line, rational number is what? P by Q. so before representing p by q on the number line we divide p by q in two segments not in the positive negative ye cheez dhyan rakhiye pehle aapko dekhna hai do parts mein isko main divide karti hu when p is greater than q and when q is greater than p here numerator is greater than denominator here denominator is greater than numerator hmm? so when denominator is greater than numerator so my number lies between 0 and 1 or 0 and minus अगर डिनोमिनेटर बड़ा है और न्यूमिनेटर छोटा है तो सारे नंबर जीरो और वन या जीरो और माइनस वन के बीच में लाइ करेगा सिंपल सा दिमाग कितना भी बड़ा नंबर है कुछ भी है कैसा भी है कुछ नहीं 2 by 5. Denominator बड़ा है numerator छोटा है कहाँ लाई करेगा या तो 0 1 के बीच में लाई करेगा 0 माइनस वन के बीच में अब यू हैव अ माइंड कि अगर ये पॉजिटिव रैशनल नंबर है तो ये आपका कहाँ पे लाई करेगा 0 और 1 के बीच में लाई करेगा इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो आई हैव टॉट यू अबाउट दैट पॉजिटिव रैशनल नंबर एंड द नेगेटिव रैशनल नंबर When both numerator and denominator are positive, it is a positive rational number. If both numerator and denominator and they are negative, then also it is a positive rational number. If one of them, either numerator and denominator are negative, then it is a negative rational number. Right. So here, two by five, denominator is greater. This you have learned in fraction also. I am not talking about any new concept. This is in the fraction also, but because you are uh, learning in the rational number, so 
we are doing the same thing, the same property. Some more numbers are added on the rational number. So whole numbers, if there is whole number, so it is a fraction. So 2 by 5, the property will be exhibit like the fraction only. 3 by 10, 14 by 50, 17 by 18. These all numbers, here denominator is greater than your uh, numerator. So it will lie between 0 and 1. Nonetheless, kya number hai, kaisa nahi hai, kuch nahi hai. But simple si baat samajhiye, numerator chota, denominator bada. To wo kaha pe lai karega, 0 or 1 agar positive hai, aur agar negative hai, to 0 and minus 1. Itna ikdam dhyan se dimag mein dal lena hai. Right student? Ab karenge kaise? I can erase this. Here, I again join this 0 because I am going through this only 1 and minus 1 so I make it little bit big. 2 by 5. So, I have, I have one thing which I have divided it into how many parts? five parts so one two three four for making five equal parts i have to draw four lines so one two three four so this part this is one by five and if i complete this so two by five so this in uh, this will be written as one by five this is as two by five this is as 3 by 5, this is as 4 by 5, and here it is 5 by 5. So this is come as well. Okay, so 2 by 5, how you will show 2 by 5? We don't show this all over here. Just simply I will make this line over here and 2 by 5. Okay, what is the next? 3 by 10. So similarly, I will be here 0, my 1 is over here, minus 1 is over here. 3 by 10, so I will make it in 10 equal parts. And for to making 10 equal parts, how many line I should draw? 9. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9. And it is 3 by 10, so the first part 1 by 10, second part 2 by 10 and 3 by 10. I make it big and I will write it over as 3 by 10. Right? Similarly, 14 by 15. Similarly, 17 by 18. And if it is minus, see here it is if it is minus 2 by 5. So minus 2 by 5, I make part 1, part 2, part 3, part 4, right? And from here only, from 0 we will be going, not from minus 1. So, the first part is 1 by 5, second part is 2 by 5. So, I will make it big and this is minus 2 by 5. 3 by 10, 0 and minus 1, I will make it in nine, 10 equal parts. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Then first part, second part and third part. I make it enlarged and it is equal to minus 3 by 10. And so you can do this. So this is about the number line representation. This line is known as real line. Why it is real line? Because you can represent numbers on this. And in this real lines, we can represent natural numbers, whole numbers, fraction, integers and rational numbers. So that's why this is also called a real number. When you will be going in the further classes, so you will be learning about the rational, apart, apart from rational numbers, it is irrational numbers are there. And then the whole combination of a rational numbers and irrational numbers are known as the real numbers 
then you will be going for the complex number. So number system is very vast. So according to the class wise, you will be getting the terms and all because the mathematicians are inventing each and everything day by day. So maybe you people are not learning something right now and after 15 years, the next students will be learning something new because every day some inventions are going on. Right. So uh, for today, I think this is sufficient and please go through exercise 4a. If you are having a comfortable in the, this uh, uh, fraction part, uh, then it will be easier. I will give you one video um, uh, by discussing each and every questions of exercise 4a and 4b. But before that, you should try at least once by you. Right. So goodbye students.